Africa when you grow up? Nigeria. Nigeria. Wow, wow, wow. And which club would you like to play for? Manchester United. Manchester United. And you would like to play for Nigeria. Okay. So, guys, David has been kept for us because he has to go to school tomorrow. So, thank you so much. So, see you later. Thank you. So, um, Benedict, about your goals, the goals that you scored for Nigeria, which one stands out? Which one do you really, the, the one you like most? Mm, I think the one I scored against um, Ivory Coast. Okay. The uh, friendly game. We played, friendly game. I, we played in Ivory Coast. I well, which year was a, this? It was 2004. Okay. Before the Nations Cup. Before the Nations Cup. No, 2001. 2001. 2002. 2002. In January. Okay. Before the Nations Cup. Okay. And uh, I equalized wow. the goal for Nigeria. It was 1 0 5 because I came in and I made it 1 1. I think this is my best goal for the. And Drogba was playing in that match. Yeah, Drogba he was, was still a small boy that time. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they played with their full squad and we also played with our full squad. So Benedict, um, please um, remind us of the, the people that were in that um, in that squad. It was um, Finidi George, wow. Tijani Babangida, Victor Ipeba, and Talibo West. Talibo West. Talibo West. Yes. I mentioned about Talibo West. I know you're you're, you're close to him. Is is a player that is quite um, that you're passionate of. Mm -hmm. We all know Talibo West. Mm -hmm. I mean. Pastor Taribo West. Yeah. Even in England, if he he'll be mobbed, yeah. you know. Taribo West is uh, special among all the players. He has got uh, leadership qualities in him, mm. and even when we were in the camp, he used to encourage uh, the other players. Wow. He, he used to pray. We used to pray together. Mm. You, know? you remember the game against uh, Sweden? Sweden. Uh, Where he had blood. Yeah, he was playing with blood all over mm. him. You know, so. His uh, example mm -hmm. to the young players, they should look up to him. Yes. Yeah. Um, you went to Lons when you were very, very young. Um, when you were 16 to 17 years old. Yeah. You left um, just Highlanders. Yeah. Wow. Lons, yeah. And um, after that, you spent five years in Belgium. You played for KRC Harabeke. Yeah, Harabeke. Harabeke. Uh, KSV Waregem. Waregem. Yeah. And then... Um, TNN. Yeah. Yes. Afterwards, that was where you went to uh, the Austrian side, Grace AK. Uh, you were twice the best foreign player in, in the Austrian league. Yeah. Well, I, I can even see you smiling because this is this is this is powerful. Mm. Um, and you played in twenty European games. That's Champions League games mm. and UEFA UEFA Cup games. Mm. In in that uh, in, in amongst that you played Monaco, played all these. You just refresh us about the Champions League some and the UEFA uh, games. Some of the ones that you played. Yeah, I played against uh, Monaco. Yes. Played against uh, Liverpool. Wow. Played against uh, Utrecht. Utrecht, FC Utrecht. 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 That's yeah. a Dutch, Dutch Dutch side. Yeah, yes. played against Dort uh, Dortmund. Yeah, Dortmund. Wow. Yeah. Borussia Dortmund. Played against uh, Stuttgart. Wow. Yeah. So wow. I played with uh, some big, big clubs. And you scored 12 European goals. Yeah, 12. That's, that's a very good record. We are close to 1,000 emails, 854 emails to be precise. But a lot of these guys, some of them are playing amateur football. Some of them are playing for some clubs in Nigeria. Some are still in Europe. I'm sure you are aware of um, these rules that says you have to play 75% of your national games before you know you can get... Oh, they, they don't know how to go about it. Mm -hmm. So they are asking for your for your um, advice, what do they do? What's the best way to go about it? Uh, the best way to go about it is that they have to work very hard. The young players, they should be careful. Mm. They should try and get a very good player's agent. Yes. Mm. I think it's very, very important. Okay. And they should be loyal mm. and very disciplined. Very disciplined. Mm. And they should have patience. Even if the, the trainer don't let them play, Mm. They should uh, continue working hard, working hard, and wait for their time. Mm. And when their time come, they should just take it, you know. And they should not speak too much. They should not mm. speak in the press. 
Um, Benedict, I have people around me. I have I have a mentor. Um, his name is Reverend Omotosh. I'll to speak to you about him later because mm. I have to always speak about him because where I am right now, God used him for me. And I know there are some people that God has used for you mm. along like sent angels mm. from the good, I'll just start from the good eaglets, mm. you know. I would like you to mention some names that are passionate to you that has really helped you to 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 be a star as yeah. you are today. In the Golden Eaglet, uh, Sebastian Broderick yeah. Mason, he That's discovered a coach. me, and uh, Coach Ben Domlong. Wow, mm, the people that uh, discovered me. Wow, mm. and uh, Sebastian, he discovered you whilst you were in secondary school in, in Semurumba College. Wow, Semurumba. I was in Form Two. Tawo Gunjobi encouraged me when I was playing for the Super Eagles. And uh, Tawo is currently in the presidential task for the, uh, the he's, Super he's, he's the He's in the NFF, NFF uh, committee. Yes. He, he encouraged me when I was playing uh, for the Super Eagles. Wow. Yeah. And also Daniel Omokachi, my the good friend, the bull. Yeah. <laughs> he encouraged me to, he used to advise me, you know. Mm. So I think these uh, are the two people that really um, motivated me. Mm, in the mm. Super Eagles. In the Super Eagles. Yes. And also uh, yeah, some few journalists also. Yes. Like uh, Samaudu. Wow. Uh, Larry Zamuje. Larry Zamuje. Uh, Larry has done very well for himself. I mean, I remember the program that he used to do um, in, um, is it Ray Power or OGBC2? It was uh, Brilla FM. Br Brilla FM. Yeah. But even before, like long time ago, that was in the, in the early 90s. Yeah. I think it was with Ray Power or OGBC, OGBC2. Yeah. Before he, uh, where we um, you know, but he's done very well. Yeah, he, he also he promote the players. Mm. He try to speak good about the players. He encourage the players. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Um. So um. Uh, currently, uh, you you're with um, Basing Stoke Town. Yeah. Um. Tell us about the like what you're doing and 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 you know the club. Yes, I play with the club at the moment, and uh, I hope hopefully we see what will happen in summer. In the summer. Mm. Hopefully, hopefully. Special jersey of Benedict and it's brand new. You can see the tags on it. Guys, whoever wins this is very, very lucky. So uh, Benedict is going to ask some few questions. Actually, a question. He's going to sign the jersey now. And uh, whoever wins, whoever answers the question, we're going to do a poll. Whoever wins it is going to get this lovely jersey. How many goals did I score in Champions League? A, 12 goals. B, 13 goals, C, 20 goals. So I will, I will sign the JC now. Anybody that wins it will get it. But well, we are so honored. We give special thanks to Benedict Akwegu in front of you right now and um, his lovely wife and the family for inviting us to, to their home. And bearing with us because, you know, we have to bring all the gadgets and everything and inconvenience them a little bit, but they've been so kind to us. Um, thank you again for, for having us. Mm, thank you too for coming. I appreciate your coming. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you so much. You're welcome. My viewers, I'm Tosh Mark TV Show on behalf of Femi Best Tosh, Specialty, Fabulous, Haley Hay and the whole team. We say thank you for hooking, hooking up with us and uh, always keep it locked on Tosh Mark TV Show. <laughs>